welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and today I have a Goodwill haul video for you. So you will have seen a little bit of the shop with me and I'm sorry about that. I was so upset. I thought I was filming half of it and I got home and it wasn't on my, on my phone. John was helping me shop so I hope you got to see some of that. I was so disappointed when I got home because I thought I had some good footage for you, for you. But we got a little bit of shopping together so that's not so bad and now we're going to see the haul. So once again, um, I was at Goodwill and their prices, you guys know what's going on with that. It's just a little cray cray, right? And we are in my studio filming today because the vacuum is going and all that and noise in the house. So trying to keep it a little quieter. And I want to give a little shout out. If y'all like my earrings, these are like a leather suede. They are so super light. They are from an artist called Southern Sun Leather & Co. They do have an Etsy shop. They sell their earrings at the hair salon I go to. And this pair was only $12, Southern Sun. SouthernSunLeather.Etsy.com And she has so many cool styles. I just wanted to give a fellow Etsy person a shout out. Um, I absolutely love these. I got two pairs for myself and they are so soft. Like I barely feel that they're on. Um, I do have some, um, my ears are getting used to wearing earrings again, but I was like, I got to give a shout out guys. So if you're looking for some fun leather earrings, they're super light, they're hand cut, they're handmade. Go check them out. Okay. Sorry. I'm done at Goodwill. Here we go. So I think I spent $65 this night. And this is all mine. She is all mine. No chips, no cracks, no damage. She just has a hole in her head because someone made her a lamp. $10. I love her. She's going up on my bookcase so no one will see the hole. And I mean, she's got those beautiful eyes. This matches my black kitty cat I have like this. So I was super, super stoked to find her. She's also super greasy. And then... We have a whole bin of goodies to go through here. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. All right, first up, I bought glass. I know y'all are shocked. Glass, what? Not Christine. And I paid $9. Now I feel like I've seen this in amber and other colors. I don't know who makes it. I haven't looked it up yet. Probably if I have, by the time this video comes out, you'll see it come across the screen. I paid $9. There's a very good chance I'm keeping this because it weighs like four pounds, but it's my color. I love blue. I love teal. I thought this would be just so pretty as a centerpiece, maybe for some more of my lucite grapes I collect. Wouldn't that be beautiful with some like amber lucite grapes and the greens and the purples? Or I can fill it with um, some of the um, little tiny like pebble stones and some candles you know, Florida theme. And it looks like a sunflower. Like it looks like a sunflower. So that was $9. So right there about $20 of all the costs maybe hanging out with me. Now I do need to be very careful because I had a lot of fragiles and they were being wrapped. You know, we know how that goes. Okay. So this is, yeah. Oh, did it break? No, okay. About to make a mess all over my studio. So this is, get it together, Christine. I bought some masks. They were only $5 for both. And John was helping me out. I handed him the bag. He kind of looked them over and they didn't have any damage. Now this one is signed Sally something. Wudenheim, but this is your classic kind of black and gold and it's completely glazed. This one is a matte finish and it is not glazed. So I bought the bag for five, two fifty dollars each, eBay items, done deal. They're going on the eBay. Now they might be able to go on Etsy. I just got to look them up. Um, they are hand, see something like this I might try on Etsy because they're hand painted. So it's a handmade craft. And that's usually okay for Etsy. So five dollars, two fifty each. I'm thinking twelve to fifteen per mask. 10, 10 to fifteen range. 
because I had a butterfly one. I think I sold for 12, but it had a chip on the nose. So let's see. See, I even left everything in the boxes for you guys so you get the full experience. This was pretty. This was $4. Um, I'm thinking it might be a Lennox. It's these beautiful yellow roses with gold tone. And the bottom says 30-12. So I need to figure out what that is, if that's a date, if it's a maker mark. Um, they had this taped up really well. I don't want to lose the price. So this I paid $4 for. Again, I'm having to pay up to get stuff at my Goodwill. The inside is an unfinished ceramic. But it's just a really pretty little compote dish. Perfect for like a bathroom to put your cotton balls or things in. Vanity piece. Like I said, I paid for, I probably won't get more than 12 to 16 for it. So I am having to pay up and my margins are getting a little tighter these days. So I really got to start trying to source um, because as the niche lady says, it's all on what you pay. And I'm just having trouble in my area finding, I may have to switch what I'm buying, you know, like find the items that I can get the bigger margin they go for higher prices instead of a lot of little tchotchke stuff. But tchotchkes are in my heart. Let's try not to knock the whole thing over, Christine. This guy was super cute. Again, had to pay up. Would have liked him to be 99 cents. He is a little doggy planter. Look at him. He's a little plaid doggy planter. I had to pay $3.99 for him. Would have liked him at $1.99. So he was $4, probably $12 to $16 on eBay. Because I don't believe this is vintage. I feel like this may be more of a Target thing. The ceramic doesn't look very old. It's glazed. There might be a maker under here. I don't know of yet. But yeah, and it doesn't look like the red. The red might be cold painted. But it looks like there's glaze over it. Little paint loss on the nose. But he may end, actually end up showing up in a drop sale. And then going over to eBay. Now there is crazing under the glaze though. So he could have some age. It's, it's really hard to tell. Okay. I don't even remember what I bought, guys. I had so much. And I don't have a ton of stuff, so this should be a short video. Oh, this one I paid up for. Even though it was $10, I had to grab it. It is a Royal Copley Dumbo Planter. I've never seen one in person. Check him out. And he does have one little issue. I don't know if you guys can be able to see. He does have a tiny little hairline that runs just right here. And it only runs across the top and stops. But look at the condition he is in. Now, I did see some of these sold for 30. There are different versions out there. I do believe it's Royal Copley. And again, I paid $10 for him, but I could not leave this on the shelf. I didn't care it was $10. This is one that I'm willing to save and get like a $10 profit on it, like list it for $29.99 and go from there because he was in such great condition. Oh my God, I was so excited to find that. That was just awesome. Alrighty. I'm trying to get more of the littles. Oh, this was super cute. So this is a... Uh, Again, $4. So you're noticing a pattern. The The dog was $3.99. The little dish was $3.99. This was three. This was $3.99. And it is a duck napkin holder or stationary holder. Cute for a country kitchen or by your front door. There is one little bit of paint loss on the nose. And it was a studio piece made by JW. JW did a great job. And I just thought it was super cute. Again, back in the day, this would have been $1.99 at my Goodwill. Now it's $2.99. So, and it's funny, and they're all yellow tag. So it was the same person pricing all of these, $3.99, $3.99, $3.99, because they're all yellow tags. Ooh, this one I may be keeping for me. I don't know yet. This one I will not be keeping for me. 
And then this, I need your help figuring out if it's vintage. So we'll start with the one I might be keeping for me. Now I've seen some of these come up in live sales and I kind of sort of wanted one. And I finally found one. And this was actually only $2.99. It's one of those Valentine's Day planters, guys. And it says on the bottom, a Teleflora gift, Teleflora made in Taiwan, $3.00. And I don't have one of these and I've actually been wanting one. So I might keep it. Even though I didn't decorate for Valentine's Day this year, I like the look of it. But stay tuned, I may end up selling it. Cause like I said, I think the reason I didn't decorate for Valentine's Day is I didn't have a ton of vintage that I liked. So this might become a new staple for me. I'm sorry guys, I know. I know some of you collect these, but who knows, by next Valentine's Day, you may see this in my Etsy shop. So just keep an eye. This will definitely be in a drop sale. Are you ready? He was just chilling on the shelf at Goodwill, hanging out, waiting for his buddies to cause trouble. And they only charged me 99 cents because he didn't have a price and I sent it back and asked the people in the back if they could give me a price and they only charged me 99 cents. He does have a little chippy here on right there, but otherwise he is totally, and he does have some paint loss on the red of the mouth. He's gonna be in a drop sale. And will you have seen this video by the time that drop sale happens? I don't know. So make sure you're subscribed to my Etsy shop. This actually smells really good. Now, John actually picked this out because we think it looks vintage, but we don't know if it is vintage and the candle has never been used. It's a happy birthday candle and it's got a little cowgirl holding a kitten and a cowboy holding a dog. Um, it was $4. There is some fuzzing to like, I don't want to mess, ugh, I'm going to end up messing it up. I have to trim that. Okay. I don't know if it's old or new. So I'm going to have to eBay this, but what would you guys do? Cause this candle has never been used. And I think I would, it almost has a vanilla smell to it. I think I would leave the candle in and I've never shipped candles. So if you guys know if there's special requirements, um, can you leave me some feedback down below and let me know? I didn't smear my lipstick enough, but yeah, super duper cuters. So, so far we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items for resale. A couple that I'm on the fence about. And then we got this one last bag. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Holly's sound asleep on the chair over here. I've got my little cart so I can load it up. All right, now we're going to swap over to eBay. So this is a bag of Tervis lids. You know those Tervis heavy duty, Tervis, Tervis um, lids? Well, I got the whole bag for $4 and people actually sell the replacement lids on eBay. One, two, three, four, five. I got six of them here, it was $4. You know, so if I do a couple dollars each lid or the whole set on, um, I do see one is cracked though now that I'm looking. So I have to go through them, but I could do these as an auction on eBay. I mean, stuff you wouldn't think to look for. Now I have Tervis cups and I'll be honest, I have lost all my lids. No clue where they went. People need lids. Cause like me, you lose them. I think I lost them in moving from my parents' house to my apartment, then to John's place, our home. So, and you all know me and my napkin rings. Goodie bag, I mean, Hello, Kim, if you're watching on my vintage, how can you pass up pink and mother of pearl and brass? You can't, you can't pass that up. The whole bag was $5 and I have at least three sets in here. So that's, I'd say the plastic set is a dollar and each other set is $2. And then I have a random piece of wood in here. So, you know, eight to $10 a set. That's easy money. And I love the pink. It's that great retro color that's coming back. And there's a whole bunch of those. And brass, I think I actually have some of these brass ones already listed. And then the mother of pearl. So that was a great find. And now this last one, I was really excited to find $5, $4.99.
So again, prices were up, but I didn't get anything super crazy. I did have my hands on some things I had to put back because I was like, there is this one item. You will have seen me, hopefully in the video, you will have seen it if I didn't mess up the footage. It was four ceramic tiles in a setting and it was a giant chivet and it was hand painted Mexico. But they wanted $7.99 and I just, I didn't know enough about it. So I put it back. It wasn't any super fancy paint job. It was just like some yellow flowers. I feel like if it had been like $3.99, I might have grabbed it. But it didn't feel like something if I paid $8 for it, I could get more than $15.16. But let me know what you think. So once again, onto the brass. Oh yeah. We have this beautiful, don't mind the mess behind me, brass hummingbird and flower. It's a freestanding mirror by Andrea by Sadik. Sadik, Sadik, Andrea. Everyone says it different. I say Andrea by Sadik. That's the New Yorker Floridian version. Just putting it out there. Made in Taiwan. $5. One similar recently sold for $30. I think it was on eBay. So that pays for half this whole thing. And that's it, guys. That was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and I'll be back with y'all super soon.